Hi guys, how about some JN Vietnamese Jia Yong? Fried, crispy, and crunchy spring rolls or egg rolls. This is one of my all time favorites and one of the most popular appetizers at Vietnamese restaurants. So, let me show you how to make them yourself with gourmet results. Here's what you'll need For seasonings, I have 2.5 tablespoons sugar, 1 tablespoon granulated garlic, 2 teaspoons salt, half teaspoon ground black pepper, optional. For the filling itself, one small white onion finely minced, three quarter cup wood ear mushrooms which I have pre-soaked in hot water, this is optional, two medium carrots shredded and washed until water runs clear, one pound shrimp slightly chopped, one and a half pounds ground pork. In a large mixing bowl, combine all the filling ingredients. Then mix your seasonings and sprinkle them on top. Now work it with your hands until all is well incorporated. I always fry a small nugget to taste test first, while adjustments can still be made to the mix. Here's the brand of egg wrappers I'm using. And for our cinnamon paste, combine 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour with 2 tablespoons of hot water. Mix well until smooth and set aside until needed. Here's the setup. Notice that I separate all the wrappers and keep them covered in a Ziploc bag to prevent them from drying out as we roll. Your meat filling and the cinnamon paste are right here handy. And I have a glass bakeware dish covered with a plastic bag again to keep the finished rolls from drying out. Even better, the bag has a happy face. Happy like you'll be when you eat these. So, let's get rolling. Place a smooth side of your wrapper down in a diamond-shaped position. Place in about one heaping fork full of filling in the middle. And fold the wrapper as shown. Sliding the edge of your hand back like this way really tightens your roll and forms your meat perfectly. Fold in the two sides and roll tightly. If you don't roll them tight, gaps and air bubbles will let the hot oil in while frying and your rolls will turn out greasy instead of crunchy good. Apply a little paste to the top tip of the wrapper and seal it by rolling it up tight. Wipe the extra paste of your work area after each roll. Let me show you again. The rolls you don't fry right away can be stored in the freezer in a sealed container or a freezer Ziploc bag for up to a month. I sometimes freeze a big batch in advance when I know family is coming. And that's it! Now once your oil is just the right temperature, place your rolls in to fry. Too hot and your jiao will scorch. Too low and they'll soak up the greasy oil. Remember my wooden chopstick test? Rising bubbles means it's good to go. And don't overload them because that slows cooking and may give you a greasy result. I'm using a little deep fryer, but if you don't have one, a big pot works as well. Just a little tip, I find that using a wide mesh strainer to fry them in lets the little bits of black fried grit fall through so it doesn't stick to the rolls. And you get these nice, clean, beautiful fried spring rolls. Once they're golden brown, place them in a strainer to drain the excess oil. There are so many ways to enjoy these wonderful crispy treats, as an addition to vermicelli bowls or eaten as an appetizer alone. Or wrap them like this in a big lettuce leaf with pickled veggies, fresh herbs and mints. Yum! Enjoy! Thank you for watching. Please support and subscribe for more videos. Connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy eating!